Okay, today we're going to be setting up the latest version of Zemu, this latest release of Zemu, released less than 24 hours ago. And the last time I uploaded a guide for this emulator, it's a standalone emulator, that is, it was actually going back to middle of 2023, so a few things have changed. But anyways, we're going to get into this, so what we're going to need, first of all, is a few files, and we're going to go through those in a minute. But if I just go into my file folder for now, we got complex underscore 462. 7.bin we also got mcpx underscore 1.0.bin and finally we've got the xbox underscore hdd dot qcow2 file so what we're going to do first of all before we begin with this is just talk about games now there's a particular file type that we're going to need our games in if we just go into my games folder we got a few games here. Now, if we take a look at the Halo game just there, this is just a regular ISO image, and this one isn't going to work. We also got Cell Damage and Alien Hominid. Now, both of these are in .xiso.iso, and these are what you're going to be looking for. These are going to work fine, where it's quite unlikely that a regular ISO image of a game isn't going to work, but we're going to go into that in a minute. Now, first of all, then, to start this emulation, guys we're going to need the emulator itself if we just open up the website we got zemu.app so as we can see just here this one actually released april the 26th which was actually yesterday as a recording this video now we can download this just here from windows that's going to download into a zip folder now, what I recommend for everyone to do, we just go to compatibility. It's going to tell us just here what works and what doesn't work. As we can see at the top just here on the scale, 5% of the Xbox library is going to work perfectly. We got 84% which are playable or deemed as playable, which means that games might not necessarily run perfectly, but vast majority of the games that are under this category work just fine pretty much. Anyways, once we've done that, what we're going to do is set up the emulator. So, I downloaded the Zemu emulator, this downloaded into a zip folder. What I'm going to do then is extract those contents onto my desktop inside of a new folder. So, right-click, new folder, and I'm going to call this Zemu. I'm going to drag and drop both of those files inside of that Zemu folder. Okay, and once we've done that, we can now delete that zip folder which we downloaded. Now I'm going to drag my files folder inside of the Zemu folder, and I'm also going to put my games folder into that same folder too. So everything is now nice and neat. So let's go inside of the Zemu folder, and we're going to open up the emulator for the first time. Just double left click on the Zemu.exe, and more info, and run anyway. And here we go. This is the first thing that we're going to see. So we need to configure the emulator itself to get things running. So we're going to left click on settings. And if this doesn't automatically go to system for you, then just use your mouse and go down to system. So the first thing we need to do is just left click on the little document, little piece of paper here at the end of MCPX boot ROM. If we left click on this one, the file that we're going to put into this place is the mcpx underscore 1.0.bin file so we're going to go to desktop and i'm going to just scroll down and find my zemu folder and in here i'm going to go into my files folder and here we go so we're going to double left click on this file and that's now been mounted into place it's also going to say application restart required to apply changes we're going to do that in a minute Next thing we need to put into place is the flash ROM. So we're going to left click again on this little document. And we're going to place in the complex underscore 4627.bin. Double left click. And finally, we need to put the hard disk into place. So left click again. And here we go. Xbox underscore HDD dot QCAL 2. Double left click. And there we go. What we need to do next then is just close out of Zemu. And we're going to reopen it, double left click. Okay, so the first thing we're going to see is please insert an Xbox disc. So what we're going to do is just go up to machine and from here we're going to go down to load disc. And I'm going to just navigate to my games folder. 
So first of all, let me just give you an example of a regular ISO image. If I double left click on the Halo game, now what we need to do really to start this game is go to machine. And once it's been loaded in, we're going to go to reset. And this is what you're going to see. So it's no good. It's not going to play. So like I say, games do need to be in that particular format. So we're going to go to machine. We're going to eject it so that disk or that virtual disk is totally out of the emulator altogether. We're going to go to machine, load disk, and I'm going to now load one of the disks, which are xiso.iso. So if I double left click on the first game here, and then just remember to go to machine and reset. And here we go, so the game loads just fine. Okay, so we're gonna make this into full screen by going to view, and we can actually left click on full screen here, or control plus alt plus F. Okay, if I just go to machine and press the pause button as you just seen, that's obviously going to pause the game. Now, some of you is going to be wondering, how do we save games with this emulator? Well, it works just like a regular Xbox, so certain save points within a single game are going to save for you. And generally, we can load back from the loading options in particular games, so pretty simple stuff to do. Now, my Xbox controller connected straight away with this. I didn't need to map it out at all, but we can also sort out controller settings if you don't get the same as what I've had so if we go to machine settings input as we can see just here at the top drop down we got the Xbox controller we can also change this over to emulate the Xbox controller s model but I'm going to leave this on the original and just here this is automatically detected my Xbox Series X controller as you can see now if you're using a PlayStation controller it will quite likely say some of the long lines of Sony PlayStation controller it's that simple it should really detect all of your mainstream controllers now we can also also play around with some video settings here so if we go to display if you're finding games are giving you a black screen then it's always handy to go to back end and change this over to Vulkan in most cases OpenGL works just fine we also got internal resolution scale where we can actually upgrade how the game looks as it were so if I was to put this on the say three times the game's gonna look a little bit more sharper we can also boot up the emulator in full screen when we start it up so if I just enable this one for now we also got the option here to change the window size if you want to and right at the bottom we can actually change the aspect ratio so what we're gonna do is just open this up and I'm going to put this on 16 by 9. Now, your games are likely going to look stretched in this aspect ratio. Most Xbox games were designed for that 4 by 3. But we're going to just do this as a tester. 16 by 9. And as you can see, in the background, it's now actually changed on the fly. And to be fair, I can see right now it looks too stretched. So we're going to put that one back down to auto default, which is 4 by 3. And we've also changed the internal resolution of this as well. So if we go back into the game again, just close this down. And of course, we need to resume the game. So go to machine, resume. Okay, now just remember, if you want to load up another game within this emulator, it's mandatory that you must eject the disc. Otherwise, if we try to load another game, it's not going to work correctly. So what we're going to do is go to machine. We're going to go to eject disc. If we just close out the emulator altogether, what we're going to do is open it back up. And as you can see, it boots straight into a full screen because that's the option I chose just a minute ago. So we're going to open up another game, so machine, we're going to go to load disk, and this time we're going to check out cell damage. And just remember, it's machine reset. And 
and as we can see that works just fine okay let me show you something that a lot of people struggle with so say your emulator has been set up incorrectly and you want to start from scratch you might find it's not as easy as you think to do this if we open up the emulator again here we go so if you come across anything like this i'm actually going to show you where this has been installed to so what we're going to do is go to the c drive if we go to the users folder if i go to my system folder which is jamie it's in app data roman and in the roman folder you should find a zemu folder now what we can do from here is just delete this folder and that's going to take away any configurations or any settings you've made for the emulator itself if we open up the emulator again as you can see, it's now been reset. Literally, everything's been taken away and it's forgotten about everything we've ever done with this. I'm also going to give you another tip. Now, say you've got a level end computer and your game is struggling, I totally recommend Razer Cortex. Just download this and I'm going to show you how it works. It's very simple. If I open up Razer Cortex, which I use on my computer, and once that's been installed, we're just going to go to Booster. And if we go to boost now, what this is going to do is release lots of memory on your computer. So it's going to disable background processes that you don't need whilst you're playing a game. And this is a simple and free application to use too. So as you can see, this is literally just released 3.07 gigabyte. So we got a lot of memory there released, which is now going to be put into that Xbox emulator. And that's it for today's Zemu setup guide for a Windows PC. So hopefully I've cleared up a few things in there. And hopefully you can get a very awesome Xbox gaming experience on your Windows PC. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications. Subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel. Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide. And it really helps out my channel too. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.